Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm partnering with Lumini Macaron to show you four different Halloween nail art ideas. I never really started doing nail art with gel polishes until earlier this year during quarantine, so I hope this video inspires you to try out some nail art looks with your gel polishes. And if you want to shop Lumini Macaron, you can get 10% off using my code CARAMELLIGRAM10. It's not an affiliate code or anything, I just really love all their products that I've tried and they have the most adorable macaron shaped LED lamp and in today's video I'm going to be using the milkshake LED lamp and the brand new licorice LED lamp. I'll have a whole video with the new licorice gel manicure kit next week so stay tuned for that but anyways let's go ahead and get on into the Halloween nail art ideas. The first design is a really cute and easy matte black spiderweb design and I'm going to show you how to turn this into a chrome look afterwards but I'm going to start off with two coats of licorice which is a black gel polish and I'm going to cure it after each coat for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to apply one coat of the matte top coat on top and cure that for 30 seconds. And for the spider webs, I'm going to go back to licorice with a detail brush and I'm going to paint four straight lines all coming outward from one corner of my nail. Then I'm going to connect each straight line with two curved lines just like this. Then I'm going to cure it in my LED lamp for 30 seconds and here is the finished matte black spiderweb design. And to add a little bit of chrome to this look, I'm going to add Lumitalik, which is Lumini Macaron's silver chrome powder. And this is going to stick better to the black gel polish rather than to the matte top coat. Then I'm just going to take my finger and rub off all the excess chrome powder from my nail and my skin. And to seal in that chrome powder, I'm going to finish it off with one coat of the Gel Shine Top Coat and cure it in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. And here is the finished chrome spiderweb design. The next design is a graveyard design with a blue ombre background and I'm going to start off by applying Midnight Blueberry which is a navy blue shade to the top third of my nail. And I found that this technique helps my gradients be more opaque in fewer coats. Then I'll fill in the lower two thirds of my nail with blue vanilla. And again, for my first coat of color, I'm not going to be blending the two colors together. I just want this to be a base so that my gradient is more opaque in fewer coats. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And for the second coat of color, I'm going to apply Midnight Blueberry to the top half of my nail this time, slightly overlapping blue vanilla because when I blend the two colors, I want a little bit of that baby blue to peek through from underneath. Then I'm going to apply blue vanilla to the lower half of my nail and then use an ombre brush to blend those two colors together. If you don't have an ombre brush, you could also use the brush that comes with these gel polishes in the bottle. Just make sure you wipe it clean before you blend the two colors and then wipe it again before you put it back into the bottle. And before I cure the polish, I'm going to wipe off any excess polish that got onto my skin with my nail and then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. I'm going to repeat that entire last step to build up the color of the gradient. So I'm going to apply Midnight Blueberry to the top half of my nail, Blue Vanilla to the lower half of my nail and then blend it out with an ombre brush. And here's the finished gradient. I just wanted to show you because I'm so happy with how it turned out and I really like how it kind of gave it a watercolor look. And for the graveyard part, I lined the free edge of my nail with licorice and a detail brush for the ground.
Then I painted some tombstones by painting an upside down U and filling it in, as well as some crosses and some grass. And because I was feeling that the top looked a little bit empty, I painted some birds with two simple curved lines. I cured it for 30 seconds and then I finished it off with one coat of the Gel Shine top coat and cured that again for 30 seconds. And here is the finished graveyard design with a blue ombre background. The next design is of some spooky fluorescent cat eyes in the dark. I'm going to start off with two coats of licorice as my base, which again is a black gel polish. Next, with Party Babe and a detail brush, I'm going to paint two straight lines which are slightly slanted downwards towards the center. Then I'll paint on a curved line under each of those straight lines, somewhat like the uppercase letter D, and then I'll fill it in. I'll cure that for about 30 seconds and then I'll go back in with licorice and a detail brush to paint a straight line down the center of each eye and cure it again for about 30 seconds. And for this design I didn't apply a top coat because I kind of liked that 3D effect of the cat eyes plus all these gel polishes have a 3-in-1 formula including a base and top coat. So here is the finished cat eye design. And the fourth and final design is a cute little pumpkin design over a nude base, so I'll start off with two coats of creme brulee, which is the perfect sheer nude gel polish, and I'll cure it after each coat for 30 seconds. Then I'll use Sunbeam, which is a gorgeous shimmery orange shade to create the pumpkin, and I'm going to apply two coats so that the orange really stands out. And now to add some details to the pumpkin, I'll use Chocolate Cherry, which is a deep reddish brown shade, to paint on the stem of the pumpkin. Then with licorice and a detail brush, I'm going to paint on some curved lines for the ridges of the pumpkin. And if you're worried about the gel polish moving or the colors mixing together, you can always flash cure for about 10 seconds or so after each color, and that's going to help lock in all those details. And for the final touch, I'm going to add a little vine with emerald, which is a green jelly shade. Then I'll cure for 30 seconds and apply one coat of the Gel Shine top coat and cure again for 30 seconds. And here is the finished pumpkin design. So here's one more look at the four and a half nail art designs that I created for Halloween using Lumini Macron gel polishes. I hope this inspires you to try out some nail art with gel polishes. And again, if you want to shop Lumini Macaron, you can get 10% off with my code Caramelogram10. 
So that's all for today's Halloween nail art video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials just like this one. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you recreate any of these designs, I'd love to see them. So be sure to tag me on Instagram at caramelogram. Anyways, happy Halloween and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.